Steve at Bigham. This is Mark. Uh, we're here just to talk a little bit about the Lion Blade today. Uh, it's a new ski for this year. There's a few of them came out on an early release last year. Uh, we were lucky enough to get invited out on a release trip just to see what this ski was all about. Uh, but first of all, let's hear from Lion with some of the tech info on this ski. So here we have the brand new Lion Blade. Lion worked tirelessly to create something that was a hell of a lot of fun on piste. They're normally renowned for their freestyle and free ride skis. This has got a hell of a deep side cut and works really well on that harder and firm snow. A 95 mil underfoot width means that you can nip off the side of the piece and there's a big fat shovel so you can get some float. But in reality, it's all about this gas pedal metal here that allows the ski to still be soft and longitudinally, but give you a really tight side cut radius and lots and lots of torsional grip. So you can have all the fun in the world staying inbounds, digging trenches and getting your hip on the floor. It's really targeted at that advanced expert skier that wants to go and have a load of fun inbounds on the terrain when you know the powder's not very good. And our tester feedback has been outstanding. It's just a hell of a lot of fun. You can get a really good variety of turn shapes and really enjoy yourself throughout any day on the hill. Right, now the good bit. So uh, this is gonna talk about how, what we felt when we skied it and um, this skis this is easy to talk about because it's a bit different. It's just a bit more fun. Uh, and this is one of the great things about lines. They kind of strip away what skis, the, the sort of categories and the, the tight rules for it. And they just make what they want to make. Uh, and this is the result. And yeah, so Mark, what did you think? Um, I was a little bit cautious, if I'm honest, to start off with. Um, kind of didn't really know what to expect. I thought line, maybe trying to push a piece ski. It, it almost didn't make sense in my head, but then actually, once I got on it, you know, it suited me down to the ground. Um, it's 95 underneath the waist, so that's kind of the, the sweet spot around there at the moment for all mountain, really. You know, it's wide enough to go and mess around in most conditions, and on piste, it, you know, it feels fine. It's, it's agile, it's nimble. Um, you've got a gas pedal metal, gas pedal gas pedal metal laminate in it um, which just helps beef it up so if you do want to put put your foot down and kind of go for it there's plenty of performance in there um, so I personally I really enjoyed it yeah no I think I'm in the same boat there I wasn't sure what to expect when I first got on it I was kind of thinking I'd probably prefer a piece ski but actually I just love what this ski does for you you can be like a just be a hooligan on the mountain ski it carve it, slash it, whatever, it doesn't really matter, just ski as fast as you want, you don't have to ski it fast, uh, it wants to turn, it feels really playful, it feels really poppy, uh, but it grips as well, but it's not actually as stiff as you might think it would be, that's what surprised me, you can really get that ski flexing, um, but yeah, I think the key thing here is go and have fun on it, just enjoy it, if you want to ski to ski mainly piece with a little bit of all mountain as well, and you just want to, I don't know, have a laugh, get off your twin tips, or maybe you never ski twin tips, but yeah, you're gonna enjoy this ski, definitely. So, um, if you've skied it, you've got some comments, put them down below, uh, or if you've got any questions, let us know and we'll come back to you. Uh, thanks for listening.